Good evening, everyone, or afternoon, or night, or whatever the time is. If you just got home from school, grab yourself a snack. If you're just waking up in the morning, grab yourself some breakfast. And if it's nighttime, go get some dinner. Whatever the case may be, but sit down, relax, get ready, because it's time for some Lumberland. It's time for some Lumber Tycoon 2. I am Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and I love you guys very much. Now, a lot of you, and I've seen the statistics, are not subscribed. Okay, if you keep coming to the channel, I mean, you're going to have to buy the ticket sometime. It's just right down there, a little subscribe and a notify button, and th throw a comment in there if you want to. It's your choice. All right, there is absolutely no pressure for me to ever actually go and do that. I love you guys no matter what, even if you're not subscribed. But today we are going to be going as fast as we can to get this thing going. Because, I mean, I'm already like halfway. Whenever I, I rezzed in, I looked and I'm like, oh, we're at the halfway mark of the base. I mean, we just got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six more bases and we're across to the firwood. Um, I also had a lot of people asking, what is firwood? Well... Um, if you guys remember, Tick to Twert, she was a builder, a uh, fellow Lumber Tycoon to, oh gosh, I'm just going to have to build ladders to get up there. Um, she was a fellow builder, fellow YouTuber, and she was amazing, and um, she passed away, oh gosh, not too long ago, and um, her favorite... Her, fa uh, her favorite tree was the fir tree inside Lumber Tycoon 2. So, Defaultio brought it back so she could finish her, um, her, um, tree. Actually, I don't think she ever finished her logo. She may have gotten the wood from somebody else, but, um, basically, it was in one of her last tweets that I wish Defaultio would bring back the fir wood for um for us so i could finish my logo because it's a it's a cat on top of a yellow t um because of the last request and because of her untimely passing he created the um the watcher cave biome as a memorial to her um, now, for those of you that haven't seen it, or you don't know what I'm talking about, I will drive over there and show you. Uh, maybe. Do I have a truck? Yeah, I got a truck. I've got a truck. In fact, let's go, let's go do that first, to show you the point of what I'm doing here. I mean, there's, there's a, a point, I promise. <laughs> there's usually a point to most of the things I do, just saying. <clears throat> um, put our axes down. Is that, yeah, there we go. That's the truck. So, do 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 Driving with Code Primate on Friday, driving with Code Primate in the water. I should come up with like a theme song like that. That would be amazing. And huge shout out to the parents, and more specifically the parent who oh gosh, are you serious come on, dude. Seriously? Wait, I'm not dying. Wait a second. I'm not. What is going on here? What is going on? <gasps> Dude! Okay, I don't know if this is a glitch or if something has happened, but I mean, this is really cool. I'm under the water. Under the sea! Under the sea. I don't know if this is like this is this might just be a bug. Don't take my word for it. But holy poop. Holy oh, dude. We can do so many things right now. Oh my gosh. Cause look, I, I've got no No way. Oh, this episode just got even more amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Here's, here's the little sandbar here. There's the little sandbar where you usually have to stage yourself. And then you have to drive underwater to these parts. Please don't, don't fix, don't fix, don't fix. Okay, it's not fixed. Oh my gosh. Anyhow, you have to come back here. And drive up this little part right there. Drive over to there. And then you have to wait for your health to come back up. 
and you can drive over here to this corner. And that's where you fill up your life one last time before finally making your way over to here. I'm, I'm afraid of hitting the water. But that's the, uh, that is the Glofer. Her, uh, memorial. You know what? I'm just gonna come out. For her, I'll do that. Her memorial is right here. This is, this is to express that this is her area and the trees are for her. So, um, what we're going to do, oh, come on. I can't, I can't move. Hold on. Please don't be broken. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a piece of, uh, piece of the glow fur here. Oh, I can't! No! Hold on. Can I back this out? There we go. Just kind of bumped it a little bit. Are the wheels off the ground? Hold on one second. Sorry about the little break right there. Um, I will probably edit. I hope I can remember to edit. Anyhow, we are uh, back. My, my wife, her last day of radiation is tomorrow. So we're all really excited about what's going on and she needed some help, so. Oh gosh, we are still stuck. Okay, maybe I can turn the lights off. Will the lights help at all? Not really. Almost done. Good. Good deal. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. I'm so worried that it's going to... Anyhow, where we left off was Tic Tac Tort and her memorial and the fir trees. So you guys will know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. It's to build a bridge that can be walked across to come and, and collect her wood. And hopefully... That bridge will come out right here. With just a small exception to like angles and stuff like that. But we're driving underwater. <laughs> Guys, what is this? What is this? Seriously. Is this a bug? Maybe a bug. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But since. Oh my gosh, since I can drive underwater, like, I'm excited. I don't know why this is happening, but uh, this is a very happy time. <laughs> I hope I just don't run into a certain area and all of a sudden it just does something. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> exciting. Now, again, this is a bug. I, I don't know why it happened, and I don't know... If you can replicate it, or if it's fixed or not. Hey, wait a second. Can we get back there and see? Um, hold on. Let's go over here. What's this? Come on. Are we under Bob's shack right now? Where are we? We are under the savanna somewhere. Okay, right here should be kind of worried about jumping out. Okay. Right over here is where we found the, um, uh, no, not menu. I want uh, settings, shift, close. Right over here is where we found the, um, the winter item, or the, the Halloween items at one time. Oh yeah, we're we're like right next to where those should be. So this is the back of Bob's shack right here. In fact, like right here, maybe. <clears throat> uh oh, somebody joined me. Hi. Sure. 
Guess where I'm at. Smiley face. <laughs> this will be fun. Slick! 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 Meet me at the docks. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if the bug has happened to him. Because if not, he's not going to be able to go in the water with me. Oh, this is going to be funny. I'm going to just come driving out of the water. Oh, oh, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, I better, I better turn my lights out. He's like, okay, I'll meet you at the docks. What's up? <laughs> What's up, docks? <laughs> I'm so excited. Like... It's been a really long time since I've been able to like glitch out and, and do something in the water. I'm thoroughly excited. <clears throat> Alright, I don't see him. Do you guys see him? Anywhere? Oh, we just hit the music change right there. Did you hear that? Where's he at? Where's he at? <laughs> there he is. He's driving up to the shore. Hi, Slick! <laughs> Ready? I don't know if he's going to see this or not. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. do 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 Tell me if you get hurt, because I'm not. Oh yeah, it's hurting him. It's hurting him. Oh gosh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I don't know why, but I'm not being hurt by the water. In fact, I don't float. I, d I didn't do anything differently. There's nothing, nothing changed about the way that I jumped into the game. Oh, gosh. Well, let me try my truck. Okay. <laughs> Be careful. Because it changes, it changes your physics about the car whenever you go into the water. <laughs> oh man, I could do pretty much anything. Okay, let's watch his life. No? No, he got hurt. Weird. Well, want some palms? <laughs> I'm gonna go grab my axe, uh, just because. <laughs> we have un we have unlimited access to the palms as of right now. I'm almost I'm almost thinking of not deloading or despawning or resetting at all, just because like this is. <coughs> I'll drop all the wood off at the dock. You grab and process. Okay? So welcome to the new... <laughs> I know this is going to be a bridge thing, but now we are going to uh, process some palm wood. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do. 
Uh, and I, I've got to compensate for the, the huge break that I went inside, so. Oh gosh, can I? I can drive faster forwards, right? Yeah. And there is a little bit of physics going on. Did you guys see that? <clears throat> now you may think, oh, the, that bridge is not that far away. The Palm Islands are not that far away. This is a great distance that I am driving right now. It is, it is very misconceiving how uh, how far that drive is, actually is. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? That thing just cuts right through Palm. Crazy. Okay, there's one. <clears throat> Two. Oh, come on. Come on. Two, there's one, and now here's two. Stay, stay. Did I jump out at the same time? Thank you so much for the, the subscribe. Appreciate it. I'm like, I'm giddy right now. I'm so happy as to what has happened. I'm, I'm sorry, Slick. I'm sorry I couldn't take you with me. I'm so sorry. Hold on, let's, uh, let's chop these off right here. And then these, we can, we can always throw those back in. Oh, I gotta get rid of the shift lock. I really don't like shift lock in general. I mean, it's nice for bug finding and for glitching through walls, but overall I would I would not use it to move around. Well, except in games like, uh, uh, <clears throat> what's it called? Okay, um, not Vesteria. Uh, what's the other one? Okay. Alright, I gotta go really fast off the back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Defaultio. <gasps> we need a water axe that will allow you to breathe underwater and do this stuff for like five minutes or something. Or maybe, maybe like a, a one-time air tank that you can purchase. Or maybe like the pink candy will do that and leave you, leave, leave a, oh my gosh, pink wood, or not pink wood, uh, uh palm wood. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused and excited all at the same time. And is what I'm doing bad? Is, am I in the wrong for doing this? I mean, technically... It's a bug, and I'm I'm kind of using it to my advantage. So, in terms of what I'm doing with the palm wood, I'm exploiting a bug, but I'm not using exploits, which are an external program to change or modify the the game itself. So, I mean, I don't I don't see this. Okay, <clears throat> what I'm doing, in my opinion, is okay because it is a it is an advantage that is not caused by me trying to cheat. Now that doesn't that doesn't work in all case scenarios. So um, <laughs> I probably just lost like two thousand subscribers right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cody's he's, he's doing wrong. He's still in the palm wood. <clears throat> no, no, I'm not. But I I am definitely. Super excited about the prospect of getting a ton of palm wood. Oh gosh, come on. Come on, please, please. Oh man. Where did that go? Okay, that's in the driver's seat. Or in the in the passenger seat. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, we could just do this the entire episode and then like I could keep this private server up and running for twenty four hours and just start making like tons of tons of videos about walking through the water. 
<laughs> no, don't do that code. Don't do that. What are you doing? That's okay. I won't. I won't. I'll be nice. I'll be good. <laughs> Although I shouldn't, because this is amazing. <laughs> Chopping the tops off all the trees. Poor, poor trees. They have their nice isolated island out here. And here I come along just messing things up. Oh, gotta turn on the lights and I'll glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. It's a Friday, so I mean, you guys deserve a good special. And this is... This is a very good one to have a special on. Stack these up for them nice and neat. So they're all set and ready to go. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> Next load. <laughs> We're going to be rich, Slick Mills. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hoover. I've never seen the bottom of your boat before. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, gosh. Where, which, where's the island? Okay, there's, there's that island over there. This is, there we go. Okay, I found it. I found it. We're going back the right direction. Whee! <clears throat> One thing I can honestly say is I've I've never collected palm wood from any of the other two islands. It's always been this island because it's the only one that I've been able to get to. So, um, in this episode, I'm definitely going to make my way over to the next islands, just because of circumstance. Like, I've never collected from there. This is going to be amazing. I am so excited right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then after after we're done grabbing some of the palms, like all the palms, every single one, uh, maybe maybe just this island. Uh, I'll go visit the other islands, but um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, cause I can I can always get back to this and come and do the actual one. It takes a lot longer, and I don't get to use my my truck for it, but. You know, and if it falls in the water this time, I'm okay with it. Because I can just walk down and pick it up. It's like, if if I were walking back in, in normal mode, uh, I'd be like, Oh no, I dropped it in the water, now what? This I can just be like, oh, no problem. Just come down here and I'll just pick it back up again. <clears throat> Definitely. Uh, Defaultio, we need something that'll let us breathe underwater for short amounts of time. And I mean, it can it can be very restrictive and stuff like that, but this is we need this. <laughs> air tanks, <gasps> non-refillable air tanks from Bob's Shack, where we could like equip it, and as long as it's equipped, it would allow us to breathe underwater like this for a short period of time. <clears throat> Last load. Here, I'm, I'm actually going to tell him. Last load. Smiley face. Do, 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 do. It's got to be something to do with the starter player script inside the player character. So, in <clears throat> in studio, whenever you're creating things for your games, there are scripts that you can add to the player when they res into the, the world. This has got to be one of those scripts that is either not there or messed up or something happened during my load screen. Now, I would imagine that if I were to reset right now, my character would go back to normal. Because I don't think... Wow, okay. 
I don't think it's it's world. Cause Slick Mill was getting hurt in the water. Look at that. <laughs> so this is the little peninsula. Welcome to Code Primate Tours, where you can drive on the bottom of the ocean any day of the week. This peninsula right here is also where the starting point to the uh, the lost cave is. Right here is the cove. Little uh, little winter biome cove. That's the winter biome peninsula. <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna drive all the way around here because I haven't gotten to be around here since. Oh gosh. Since my uh, glitching through the walls episode, oh my gosh, that was a long time ago. Discovering Secrets video. Back in what, 2015? 2016? Basically, I'm just keeping an eye on the wall line and the cove. Now, let's drive to the middle of the cove, because I've, I've not been out here either. There should be there should be something right here. <clears throat> hey, uh, Defaultio, if if I ever die, could you put it like a little golden statue of my character, just like standing either right here or like something in the middle of the cove? Because I mean, this is oh no no, do it in the in the cave. Leave leave a statue in the cave. You know, just you know, if you want to, it's your game. It's cool. <clears throat> Now, isn't there another little cove? Yeah, technically this is this is the cove too. There's like a little or the bay. Maybe it's the Savannah Bay. Ow gosh. Ow 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 ow. Tropical Bay. Tropical Bay. Isn't Tropical Bay like a car wash place or something like that? Tropics Bay. I don't remember. I don't remember. <clears throat> Do you remember the time? When we fell in love, do you remember the time when we first met? <clears throat> it's Michael Jackson, by the way. We made it. We are over the sea. Over the sea. Over the sea. No, that's under the sea. And that's a little mermaid. Sebastian. Oh gosh, I hope you guys enjoy and appreciate the fact that I'm going to have to edit this. Um, I'm probably just going to edit out the part that I left and came back on. Because I really I didn't want to quit out and like lose this ability. Oh, I still got a... <coughs> Mr. Palm Tree's coming out and wide with us. <clears throat> oh gosh. Secrets galore. All over the floor of the ocean. So a lot of you still ask the question, Where are the boats? Why do we not have boats, Defaultio? Josh, you need to update your game. I mean, and these are comments that happen daily. Every single day. Inside my chats. Inside the things. Inside his post. Somebody, somewhere, somehow is going to ask for a boat update. Here's why there's no boats. Right here. Look. There's no edge completion. <clears throat> now, I will tell you this. Defaultio does not do anything without meticulous intent. Like the reason that there is nothing on this side of the world is because he's not done. Okay? That, I mean, literally, you can ask him and he'll be like, well, what, what else is there to build? What, what else can I do? And I mean, it's... But he's very introvert. He's extremely smart. And he did not leave this side of the ocean unloaded for no reason. So, he can come in here and he could create five new worlds off of this. Because, I mean, he, this is huge. Do you see how far out I am driving? 
Why in the world would you leave an ocean this big if you're not going to fill it with something? <clears throat> <clears throat> Granted, this, uh, what was it, Lumber Tycoon 2 was created in 2009? So, I mean, it's 10 years old. It is an old school game that is still on the top row. Like, you might have to scroll over a couple times, but it's still one of the top rated games. So, I, I know the people listening and watching right now, you're supporters of this because you're here. You're still watching. You need to tell others. You need to spread the word. Like, if you haven't been in... Oh, gosh. Don't burp in their face. But if you haven't been inside Lumber Tycoon 2 lately, get back to it. It's a lot more than just chopping down trees and, and gathering wood. I mean, it is creativity. It is genius. It is... It is everything that a game should be and and more i mean <laughs> everything a game should be and more <laughs> lumber tycoon 2 play it now <laughs> ea sports it's in the lumber <laughs> oh gosh okay so i do praise um lumber tycoon 2 a lot that's not to say it doesn't come with it it's it's caveats and it's bugs and it's it's mishaps and it's hoovers but mm, I just realized there's a there's a piece of the ocean top mi missing right here. And for anybody who's interested, if you go and play his helicopter simulator, where it's a it's a radio controlled helicopter, you have to have a controller of some kind. So bust out your Xbox controller and hook it up Bluetooth because you're gonna need it. But um, there's actually a land that's over here that uh, you can you can fly a helicopter and go across the models of Lumber Tycoon 2. Look at the tree on the back end over here. Look at that. It's growing in the back. It's okay. <clears throat> and I wonder what I can drive through over here. Oh gosh. Whoa. Gonna have to be careful that I don't drive off the edge. No void kill. No void kill for code. Oh, I didn't stop by the other two islands. Oh, darn it. Dang it. That's okay. I am okay with that. So, I know a lot of you are like trying to sleep in my videos whenever. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Hold on. Wow. What is that? Why is it gray up there? Oh no, that's ocean. Is that ocean? That's the swamp, isn't it? That's the water of the swamp. I can see the water of the swamp. And there's a... Hmm. There's a big gray box underneath the swamp. Okay. Uh-oh. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. Oh, gosh. Oh, here, hold on. There we go. Okay, we're going again. <clears throat> Why am I stuck? You go far out to get that load? Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, I'm playing around. It's the first time I have been able to travel the bottom of the ocean since my Finding Secrets episode back in 2016. 16, 2016. <clears throat> and back then we didn't have uh, this cool stuff like the end times biome. I mean, look at that. Look at that. There's the end times. Now we've we've been on top of that before. I've traveled around the top of that. That was that was a fun time, by the way. That was fun. Okay, that looks like that's the end of our trip for uh, Code Primate Adventures. Because I'm I'm not going to be able to get around that little area right there. If I were still clipping, 
I would be able to walk around that and get to the back side. Oh, that's why it's messing up. I still got that wood in the front. Hey, there, little piece of wood. Oh, no, wood, no! What are you doing? <laughs> no. Nobody come at me, bro. <laughs> now, why is this piece of wood... Like, why is this all the way down to the bottom? I wonder. Versus nothing else is. Is it just a... Uh, Hmm. Don't know. I guess he just moved it down and just didn't realize that it comes. Because I mean, he's not looking down here. He's he's designing up there. Hmm. <clears throat> oh well. Who cares? <laughs> We're back to it again. Uh, I'm gonna travel to the other islands. Oh my gosh. Now the bad thing is, like, the other islands, whenever I was doing the Finding Secrets, I would have to disconnect my computer from the internet to fault out the game. Doesn't work anymore, by the way. Disclaimer, don't try it. it. It actually kicks you out of the client. But I used to be able to walk around underneath the water without, uh, without problems. Can we get this all in one one run, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm. If I can do this all in one run, that's going to be an amazing talent. I doubt it's going to happen, but... There's too much randomness to it. Twitter birds. The Twitter bird. <clears throat> oh gosh. There's a lot of trees over here, by the way. Um. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, we're just we're just gonna we're gonna clean these off. Clear out the islands of all their palm wood. I'm, so, I'm sorry, palms. The palms will never be the same since Code Primate's arrival. This is a, this is a first for me. I've I've never gathered this much palm wood in one episode. Uh, for those of you that skipped ahead and you just now found this portion to the uh, the video, I have um, a bug on my character that uh, I am definitely using to my advantage. <laughs> really, Code? Really? Yes, really, really. Oh my gosh. And don't sit there and say you wouldn't do it, because this is amazing. I'm, I'm definitely going to default, like, tell Defaulty about this, but, I mean, lucky, lucky. Very lucky to be in this server at this particular point in time with this particular bug. <laughs> oh, that's a big one over there. Look. Oh, my gosh. You can always tell by the... the the leaves. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh. Is this how big palm trees are supposed to get? Like that thing is massive. Whew. My poor truck's gonna have a problem after putting this one on. Come here, big boy. Like I can't I can't even lift it. It's like bouncing. Up to Daisy. Here, let's get you turned around. Oh no, come on. Turn. Just 
just like that. There you go. There you go, buddy. Shall we try? Or should I stack more? Let's let's just try these. Okay. I don't want to be greedy. Actually, yeah, yes I do. I totally want to be greedy. <clears throat> On my way. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> okay, no hurry. Were you just hanging out there the whole time? Okay, he's he wasn't. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll actually bring him over to you, bud. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That is so much palm wood. I don't want to reset. I'll respawn my truck, but I don't think it's the truck that's causing the glitch. So I'll just run over and respawn it real quick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow, he's putting it on my base. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> He's like, lol. <laughs> <clears throat> and this will give us a good idea of like how fast the palms grow. Um, but I'm I'm gonna I'm going to still go with my gut and say, Defaultio, we need some way to get to the palms without using glitch bridges and exploits not not this not this is a bug so I'm talking about like the the injector programs and the the scripts that people use all right here we go nice that one's about to die. Don't let it die. Come with me if you want to lumber. <clears throat> Shout out to AZ girl. Um, Arizona woman, AZ. Uh, you left a comment saying that you're a parent who began by watching their kids play a game and just supervising them, and then all of a sudden got hooked and in, into the games that you were playing. And I love hearing stories like that. Uh, another shout out to who was the other person? I have to actually go over to my YouTube channel to find this one, but I pinned it because it was amazing. And I always pin amazing um, comments. And don't get me wrong. They're not often. Once every two, maybe three months, I will get a comment that is just... Quiet. Quiet, you. Quiet. <coughs> Mr. Jacob Smith, you got a pin. And the reason you got the pin was this. You have many people who watch you all of your videos. You mostly probably have young ones who are mostly subbed. 
but you have an older people like myself who watch you for your videos on how to explain a lot of things. You are well known to a lot of my family members as they call you the quiet man. Thank you. Usually I fall asleep watching your videos because you aren't loud like other YouTubers, which I like. I love you and your YouTube videos as YouTube uh, as lumber, but also the ones where you explain technology and how to make your games, how to make games. You're, you're of the YouTubers I watch with the lower fan base, but not everything is subs and likes, which is why I love when you say in your videos that you don't mind how many people watch your videos if it isn't lumber. <clears throat> We all like something different, but just so you know, I'll always support, doesn't matter what videos it is. Hashtag code primate forever. So you got a pin, Miss, Mr. Jacob Smith, thank you, okay? There are times in my life when I'm reading through the comments and I'm getting frustrated because there's there's a lot of hate comments guys i'm not gonna lie i keep them in like they most of them get flagged and put off to the side for review and every once in a while i'll go in there and, and look at them to try and get rid of them thank you jacob because that right there hit home to me today when i was reading it i was like oh, that's just a reminder that i'm i'm doing exactly what i'm supposed to be doing i know i know that deep in my heart i know that my sub count is going to be nice and slow growing, but those subs that I'm getting are the ones that are gonna be coming back because you wanna see the content, because you wanna be here and you wanna see the full gameplay and not the edited out version stuff and not me jumping around and acting crazy and being like, ah, oh, today I'm gonna be the noob and nobody's gonna know it's me and I'm gonna hide some pets and we're gonna fool some people and have them say funny things on the... You guys know what I'm talking about. And it's that was just an example of what's happening recently. It's not always that. It's sometimes fidget spinners and, and thousand degree knives and something else that's trending or drama. And I don't want my channel to be about those things. I want my channel to be educational. I want it to be family friendly. And I want it to be nice to show how you should react when something happens, not how people react. For example, the base getting deleted and the thieves and the people who constantly beg for money inside the games. There's, there's ways to react. <clears throat> and it's life lessons. I mean, I'm not gonna say I've got the answer for everything, but in general, I do have a pretty good idea of how to make people happy and how to be happy yourself. Most of the time it's just my ADHD and I forget that I'm mad, but <laughs> it's also the fact that I'm not the only person that has ADHD. I'm also not the only person who thinks consciously of themselves, who is very self-conscious of maybe a lisp that you have or the way that you walk or something that you're uncomfortable about with yourself. And I want you to know that's perfectly fine. That's what, <clears throat> that's what you need to come to realize is no matter what you think of yourself, you are amazing. And don't let anybody tell you differently, ever. Oh gosh, there we go again with the whole Mr. Rogers feel. Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> and here's, here's another humbling fact. I would say 60% of you will not get that. Most of the people that subscribe to my channel, most of the young kids, you won't ever know Mr. Rogers. Because I, I know this generation, you're not gonna go back. I mean, my kids don't wanna go back and watch Mr. Rogers. But I want you to know the love that man had, the passion that he had for what he did. And even if it's just in Lumber Tycoon 2, and it's just on Roblox, I want that passion to be felt. That same caring, emotional, you know, when you go into a Code Primate video, that it's going to have a message. It's going to be 
something inspiring, something worthwhile to stick around and listen to. That's what I want. I don't want a billion subscribers. I don't want a ton of views. Granted, it would be nice. And you find anything new? <laughs> Nothing new. But lots of palms. Winky face. It's... It's nice. And I'm okay with it. Uh, somebody was saying in the Discord chat the other day, um, Code, I could get you a thousand subscribers instantly. They do what I say. I don't want subscribers like that. No offense. I mean, it's nice that you guys respect my request whenever I ask for something. But I... I don't want a whole bunch of people just hitting the subscribe button and never coming back to the content. You know? Or not hitting that notification bell and never coming back. Um, and I can see it. I can see the change in dynamic, especially um, through the course of the year. Uh, uh, like, <clears throat> you may have subscribed to me when you were 10, four years ago. And now that you're turning 14, maybe Lumber isn't... Maybe I'm not the YouTuber for you. And that's okay. I understand. It's... It's growth. It's happening. I mean, I didn't have a double chin whenever I started. <laughs> Go back to my original videos. I had no double chin. In fact, I was very fit there for a certain portion of them because I was doing P90X. Which I could probably get back into, but I mean, just like tonight. I'm. This is an hour-long video that... I'm going to have to go and edit and get uploaded and everything else. Are you recording? Uh, yes. You could get to yellow fur now. <laughs> oh, we already did. Already did. That's how I found out about it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Here, you, here I'll, I'll give him something to do so he can just drop these off right here. <laughs> Should I worry about the third island? <clears throat> oh, it's it's hashtag last island island uh, island number three. I land and land. Should I worry about island number three? I think we're good. I think we've got more than enough. Just saying. Where else can I? He's like, up to you. <laughs> I will go out there. Um, I will get one because I have never got any from that far island before. Just to say that I've done it, and I'll end out the episode right there, but I mean, this is, I just, I don't want to leave. <sighs> Having the ability to drive on the ocean has got me giddy. I'm like, ee! I'm like fanboying over here. Oh my gosh, Mr. Ocean, can I have your autograph? You're my favorite. You're my favorite biome. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, man. What was I talking about? I don't know. Motivational. Motivational. Something something motivational and, and nice to say. Put that out there. Um. No, seriously. Like, I... A lot of people saw that, like, my subscriber count slowed to, like, 30, 40 p people a day. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay that it's going slowly. I know we're all excited for the big 100,000 subscriber thing to happen. I get it. But again... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes only once in a lifetime. Yo! That actually works in this scenario. So let's get the biggest tree. I think I, think I was working on the biggest tree, wasn't I? 
this this actually looks this one right here looks bigger so let's go let's go with this one this will be the final tree to the the glitched ocean episode now look at the shadow it's like the shadow just didn't want to go away yeah, I definitely I definitely have some things going on some issues in my lumber there we go oh my gosh that is a huge tree There we go. Nice and easy. Not dragging the ground. Not dragging. Okay. <clears throat> Shall we away? Let's away. Let's away. Uh oh. It fell. It's okay. Grab this up. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Uh, here, let's go long ways like that. There we go. And um, I probably won't have another video coming out today, but it is Friday, so I'd give you a, a gentle reminder that live stream is tonight, followed up by karaoke. Um, <clears throat> huge, huge, humongous shout out to my wife, Elizabeth. Congratulations, baby. It's your last day of radiation. Um, I'm actually taking tomorrow off with vacation, uh, and I'm pulling the kids out of school. And we're all going to go up with her for her last treatment. At the end of her last treatment, she gets to come out and she gets to ring the bell. And we get to meet all of her nurses and go see the radiation machines. And, like, we're going to make it a big celebration for tomorrow. Because it is the, it is the last treatment for a long time. And it has been a long, long road. So, she was diagnosed in June of last year. So, very long road. She's been through 16 chemo treatments, chemotherapy treatments. She's done 32 radiation treatments. She has had a double mastectomy surgery. And um, what else? She's also had um, spacers and replacements placed back in. So if you guys didn't know, she was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer and that's something that's just it's very hard to talk about and it's very hard to understand and the first time that I heard it I was just I was in shock I mean we knew that her mother um, her mother passed away from breast cancer so oh my gosh that was Horrible note to end on, Code. Why did you do that? <laughs> slick. Slick. Let's do let's do an outro. Cause I'm I'm gonna have to edit some of this. We're already at, at an hour, but I mean I gotta cut out the time that I, I ran inside, so. Slick Mills, you dog! You amazing person with his manny axe and his manly beard. Thank you everyone for watching this Lumber Tycoon 2 video with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, Roblox, forever. Love you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all the cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end, but I never do. Because, I mean, it's just a call to action. You guys can do whatever you want. Love you very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.